first off, have you guys even seen the title? Resident Evil 2 Remake, Remake versus Remaster. So many RE's in the title. I'm starting to feel retarded, man. Oh, now I feel like I'm making fun of retarded people. You know, if you're retarded, I'm, I'm not I'm not making fun of you. I'm, you know, I'm just going to redo this intro. What's up guys, so I want to talk about Resident Evil 2 once again, and I want to talk about a remaster versus a remake. A lot of fans are surprisingly debating about this, so let's talk about it. So let's start with this. What is the difference between a remake and a remaster? I see a lot of people talking about this and when they talk about a remake, they're talking about it in the sense of a remaster. So I just want to explain the difference between the two just for the people who don't really know. So a remaster is basically this. Let's take God of War 3 for example. They're going to take God of War 3 that was originally on the PS3 and, rema and remaster it to put it on the PS4. So a remaster master is when you take the original uh, game and then you pretty much polish it using the same assets it already has so for example if I'm building a sandcastle and whatever form the sandcastle is in after it's finished is its original version however a remaster is for me to take that same sandcastle and make sure the edges are smooth that the structures are looking a lot better than it originally did and uh, so take the original as as if it was a draft so what is a remake a remake is rebuilding the same game however not using the original textures and have free creative control on the things you want to change so let's say this that same scan castle we used for a remaster so we're going to remake it so instead of using sand this time however we're going to be using clay uh, and now um, our sandcastle is going to have, um, it's going to look like the uh, the sandcastle we're having. However, our clay castle is going to have more stuff in it. It's going to be more sturdy. It's going to be more heavy. It's not going to fall over more easily. And we're changing the landscape around it, even though it looks originally like the original. And that is basically the difference. So now that we got that out of the way, a remaster of Resident Evil 2 or a remake of Resident Evil 2. Now, I'm in the camp of remake. I want them to remake Resident Evil 2. Why is this? I want them to remake it because Resident Evil 2, there's so much more potential that it actually has. Right now, Resident Evil 2 for me is just a two hour game. A one to two hour game. Um, I can beat it really quickly and for them to return to the game, to that universe, to that world in a particular time of Resident Evil, it's so iconic that I feel they could make Resident Evil 2 so much more better than it actually is. Resident Evil itself has grown up so much since the year 1998 when Resident Evil 2 was, was released, so that influence on Resident Evil now and what they could do with Resident Evil 2, I just see so much potential and that's why I'm so excited. But I can see why people would want strictly a remastered version of Resident Evil 2. You know, taking the same exact game except upgrading it. It's just because they want their game to uh, stay the same. They want it to be the same as exactly how it was uh, when they were growing up. So the things that made Resident Evil 2 iconic will forever be intact. Having a remake of a game is potentially making it better but also potentially making it worse which is actually possible a good example of this was metal gear twin snakes metal gear twin snakes was a uh, a remake of the original resident <laughs> resident evil of the original metal gear solid that also came out in 1998 i believe i could be wrong about the date um, however, what fans didn't really like about the remade the remade version 
version of Metal Gear Solid is the fact that they use generic music, that they put uh, f the first person um, MGS2 engine in it, making the game like 10 times more easier. The iconic moments were far from iconic as it was in the original Metal Gear. Um, things of that nature. It has potential to ruin the game um, rather than make it better. So I do see both sides of the argument. However, I just feel um, if you if you love a game so much, um, you can play the original version. The original version will always be there for you. If Resident Evil 2 Remake sucks, which it actually can, you guys know me, just because it has Resident Evil in the title doesn't mean I'm going to fall in love with it. If Resident Evil 2 Remake sucks, I still have my original copy of Resident Evil 2. I don't have to deal with the remake. So if there is a remaster, if you know, if you want the company just to play it safe, then you're pretty much risking the potential of the game to be even better. And I feel, in my personal opinion anyways, that that is not the way to go. It's good to take some risk. It's good to return back to what made the game great. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. It's going on six minutes now. If you want me to talk about more about Resident Evil 2, here is two links. One is about a story of Leon and the other one is about Robert Kendo. I'm calling this series the Resident Evil 2 file. Check it out. And uh, here is my review of Resident Evil 7, just in case you want to check that out as well. I'm going to be out of here. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe if you have not already.